Government can only do so much for uh, to respond to poverty and to respond to the day-to-day -day problems of uh, the people. Because ultimately, we will always need the support and the partnership of the private sector, of the business sector, of the NGOs and people's organization to make everything work. Kasi ako kung wala ho kayo. Kung hindi ho nyo ginagawa yung good work that you are doing on your own, without government support, self-reliant and relying on your partnerships, relying on your memberships to really deliver change in many of your communities, in many of your partner communities. Alam po ninyo, pagka ho wala kayo, hindi ho namin magagawa ho yung trabaho namin. And uh, sa totoo lang, pagka ho nandiyan kayo, if you are there in the communities, if you are there serving the communities, sa totoo lang, napapayaho yung pamahalaan eh. Ibig sabihin, we lose face because how in the world is it possible that Rotary is able to do a better job at delivering services to the poor? Hindi ho ba? And if you are there, it keeps local government honest. It keeps the national government honest. And as you heard, yep, I had Ferraris, Porsches, BMWs, and I used to go to work by helicopter. Even though I had everything that I could possibly dream of, uh, life felt very empty. And I started to understand the difference between pleasure and happiness. And pleasure always has a price tag, diba? Right? After a little while, you become bored of it. You need something else. And happiness comes from your relationships, and especially knowing that you're fulfilling God's purpose with your life. But I was praying, Lord, why, why did you bless me? And it, it felt very unfair. I was not doing anything good for the world, just computer games. And um, I felt it was time to leave my business. And so I went, went around the world looking for charities, trying to find something that I could help. Until a friend of mine who was from the Philippines told me she was living in England and she told me she was feeling guilty because for the price of the plane ticket to England from Manila, she said she could have built two houses through something called Gawad Kalinga. His answer changed my life because he said, if you really want to help, don't just send your money. Why don't you come back and help to build those houses? And so I came back. The correct notion of creativity, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, is almost effortless. It means picking something up from thin air. Not getting something down from your brain to the paper, no. It's picking something up. And the way you can be comfortable with that new description of creativity is to think. Think of all creative stuff. Books, poetry, whatever it is. Uh, architectural design, whatever creative stuff there is. Think of it as already created. It is floating out there. Floating out there in space. Floating here in the room. It's already here. And the one who picks it up is the creator. We were born creative, but we do not experience the creativity because of blockage. How many here are stressed, feel guilty, burned out, pessimistic, feel that it's useless anyway? How many here live in fear? All of these things, ladies and gentlemen, keep us blocked. Believing in the cause very passionately, I decided to just start it on my own with whatever resources I had at that time. Thankfully, my family taught me how to save. So all my birthday presents since childhood, graduation gifts, all the Christmas presents I got were all saved in my bank account. And those were the funds which I used to set up the Independent Living Learning Center in 2003 when I was 26 years old. So the ILLC envisions to enable individuals with developmental conditions to attain their optimum quality of performance and quality of life 
to become independent, happy, productive members of society. We want ILLC to be a self-sustaining and preferred source for Filipinos and even uh, persons with disabilities from outside the Philippines. Being an electrical technology graduate of, uh, of uh, Jensen, I solicited a solar panel to supply electricity out of the sun's energy to light the Talsal van and I also built a windmill type ventilation made of galvanized iron at Lulang Elementary School for windmill to operate and I touched the bearing to shop and connected to an alternator at charges from 12 volts with cell battery and to produce 220 volts with a capacity of 3,000 watts. And this project not only provided electrification to that school, but also benefited Gulang community since October 2011. Bakit ang preparation ng boxer, three months, yung championship, 36 minutes lang. Bakit ganun? Natanong niyo po ba sa sarili ninyo? Kasi ako natanong ko sa sarili ko, and I found the answer. So yung malaman ko ang sagot? Three months in preparation, 36 minutes yung laban. Because nasa isip ko, napakapangit naman kung three months yung laban. <laughs> Isipin ninyo, tatlo buwan sila nagsusuntukan. <laughs> But the wisdom there is preparation is always more important than the actual performance because what you perform is what you rehearsed. That is why every day I try to prepare myself. Preparation. You know what? I prepared myself for this talk 12 years ago. But then again, I discovered one important lesson in life. And that is whatever happens in your life, your dream will find its way when your heart is set to achieve it. And therefore for me, success is not a matter of dream. Success in a, is an issue of the heart. Because no matter how big your dream is and your heart is weak, still you will not make it. Hopefully in this convention, we will realize that what we do is beyond our, the dream. It's about the heart. The heart to serve the people. The heart to serve the humanity.